harvested a bunch of greens from a community garden, so all of these vegetables were grown in ground. This is the Mizuna green. It's a lot larger than what I have up in the, in the balcony. This is, I have a couple leaves of broccoli leaves and they're, they're huge. And I also have some Italian kale or dinosaur kale. And I have two leaves of the curly leaf kale. Mushroom. I have half half of an onion and a couple cloves of garlic. This is very I cooked it um, for about 45 minutes and usually they say to soak it overnight but these I did not soak. And before they're cooked they look like this. You know they they look a little bit like barley. So basically this is unprocessed wheat and it's really delicious actually. It's very sweet and it has a really chewy texture. So this dish I'm about to make is maybe one of my favorite to bring to lunch these days. Here I have a pan with some olive oil and I've started heating it. You can use any oil that you like. First I'm just going to add the onions. I want that to caramelize, so it's going to take a little bit and I'll come back when the onions are nice and brown. While the onions are cooking, I'm going to cut the greens. So with the Mizuna, I'm going to use pretty much the whole thing and I think I'm just going to cut a little bit of the end because it's probably a little tough. And I'm just going to cut this into very small, small pieces. And next I'm going to cut the Italian kale. And I have seen people cut out the stem, but I, these are small, so I think I'm just going to use the whole thing. And then with the curly kale, I just cut off the stem, but then I use the rest of it. I'll cut it in. Basically, I want the greens to be in bite size. Um, bite size. I would just want them to be bite size. And the broccoli. I think this broccoli stem is a little bit tough, so I'm going to cut that off. So now I just have this big bowl of greens from the garden. Just lots of nutritious goodness here. So I'm going to add the garlic here. And I used to add garlic in the beginning when I make any sort of stir fry, but what happens when you do that is it just burns. So now I just add it a little bit later and it just um, brings out the garlicky flavor. You do it this way. And then I add the mushrooms. I'm also going to add the hard part of the kale. Okay, so now it looks like the mushrooms have cooked down quite a bit. So this is when I add the greens. Okay, so I got all the greens in and I'm going to add some salt. When the greens have reached the right cookedness, right texture that you like, cookedness, texture, well, whatever, um, if it's at the right doneness for you, 
um, you can go ahead and add the wheat berries. And at this point you want to taste it so that if you need to add more salt or pepper or something like that, you can do that. And then you just a little bit more salt. I've also um, added pesto at this point too, and that's also very delicious. So if you need just some more added flavor, you could do that as well. To me, this looks pretty good. That's it. Here we have wheat berry with a mixed variety of greens from the garden. This is a very simple dish, very delicious dish, and also really nutritious. So if you try it, please let me know how you like it. Bon appetit!